That's sick. Oh my god, that's a sick colour, man. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So, we're on the way back. Lee's back now. Oh, are we been in that one? Yeah. It's the third intro we've done. The, just this is the third. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the way back from Birmingham. We picked a part up for Lee's, uh, for Lee's Audi, so that should be all, uh, all up and running this afternoon. Fingers oh, crossed. Correct. Fingers crossed. Uh, we're currently on the way to Performance Northwest. I haven't, been to, uh, I haven't been to see Lee and the guys down there in a while, so we'll go see them. He's got a new quad bike that I want to check out, see if he'll let me take it up and down. Get, yeah. some, get some little well, burnouts going. Get Mr. Milo some food. Yeah. Um, go see the guys at Performance Northwest, and then later, this video, obviously you know by the title and thumbnail, the Enkis that we got for the EJ9 are being sprayed and restored and refurbished today uh, by Andy at AC Alloys. Now, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you. He's a good uh, guy, as a, Yeah, not even as a business set, as, as a... As a friend, thank you to to Andy and and, and his wife Sandy at AC Alloys because Andy, Andy and Sandy, so they've they've helped me out and Lee so much. Um, and if it weren't for them, nothing like this would be getting done, and I, I don't know where we'd be going to to get it done. So I just want to say a really big thank you to AC Alloys. And if you ever if you're in Cheshire area and you need your alloys done, he's mobile. Uh, please please give him the first call. His prices are really good, and he, I just appreciate that he works with people like me and Lee, content creators, helping us out to help him out, and it means a lot to us. So yeah, I'll put all his links in the description. Obviously, you can see it on the screen. Go check him out. Go drop him a follow. Even if you're not looking to get any alloys done, just go show go show some love over on his uh, Instagram page. So the colour that we're going, I'm obviously not going to say anything yet because I'm not 100% on the colour we're actually going. It's been stressful with James trying to sort a colour out because every colour I've suggested, which we are going to be going a colour that's pretty in your face and not very street. Um, James wanted to go gold or bronze, and I said that's just a boring colour to go. We've already done it on the, uh, not, well, I say a boring colour, we've already done it on the EP3 now, and it's just, I want to go something that, that catches your eye and is a little bit, everyone's talking about it with the EJ, EJ9, so it's going to be a very in your face colour. It's going to be, I, I think it's going to look mint, don't you? A lot mint, yeah. yeah. I think it's going to look amazing. So, uh, yeah, well, we're heading to Performance Northwest and I'll just pick the video up and we'll get there. Long time no see. Have you done your hair? <laughs> if you ever need... Oh, yeah, we're going to use the... How are you doing, mate? Performance Northwest. Five, five, four, this one. So I did mention about a quad bike. Now, this is, this is pretty smart. This is pretty smart. <laughs> What have you bought early? What have you bought? <laughs> I hope it's not alarmed. Look at this thing. The PNW mobile. All right, Lee's got all the tools he's near. We're gonna go. Hopefully fit this part to his uh, Audi and uh, then head back to mine, ready for uh, ready for Andy to do his magic on these alloys. I'll come with you. Yeah, which is, uh, they're gonna look so sick if they go the right colour, but it's James's car, he makes the decision. How are we doing, Andy? Hi, mate. Hiya. So, if, uh, if anyone watched the video, I dropped, actually it was a Patreon video, so you wouldn't have watched the video unless you're a Patreon. I dropped my calipers off um, with Andy, and he's done something very special. So obviously, this is what they look like. I picked them up from VTech Monkeys, and they were just uh, they, w they were red, but the the guy at VTech Monkeys that refurbed them uh, sprayed them silver. And Andy has absolutely killed it. Now, oh, just look at these. Oh, that on, then. <laughs> look at those, man. That's unreal. Oh, they're gonna look amazing. Absolute legend, mate. Thank you for them. Obviously, this is the car in crime. We're not actually doing it at this house. We're just going, <laughs> we're just going around the corner uh, to another house and uh, we're gonna do the wheels there. But obviously, this is what they look like, just the Enki RPF ones in, uh, in just black. And then he's gonna work his magic again. I think they're gonna look mint, mate. So this is a little setup we've got going on. Andy's, uh, Andy's on the road. Car's already on all fours, ready to go. They look absolutely dreadful. Yeah, these are obviously showed you before. I just want to get a full in-depth before and after shot. They all go in a very, very Larry colour. Now, no one's here yet, and a couple of people are coming around later uh, while the wheels get done, but they all go in a very, very, very Larry colour. 
Now, the things that we add onto this car bit by bit will make the colour look even better, I think. But I think as well, I'll announce it in this video, we're going to be um, rattle canning the whole car a different colour. We're literally going to just do it on the driveway. Um, just to show that you don't need you don't need booths, you don't need expensive tools and stuff like this just to have some fun with the car. So we are going to be rattle canning the car a certain colour. We're not sure yet, but this colour will match that colour, um, if that makes sense. It is a really Larry colour. I know that. You don't need to let me know in the comments, but it's going to be a colour that stands out on track, which is what this car is going to be made for. So I'm looking forward to it. I think they're going to look quite good, personally. Do you think they're going to look good? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because oh, you're doing it. They look good when they come out of the pan. Exactly. <laughs> And as if like magic, he's just come round here and, and, and just and just done it. He's just just done it. Yeah, so obviously James, the owner of this car, I'm not sure if he knows exactly what colour we're going yet. He's on his way now with Matt. Um, he knows uh, he knows this was one of the colours that we're debating, but for me personally, I think this is this is going to look the brightest, the most talked about, the the most noticeable. And like and like we always say, the track wheels anyway. So it, it's 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 nothing major. Uh, mm. We wanted to go something Larry that not many people do. You wanted to do it. You wanted to, to uh, do a Larry colour as well that you don't usually do, didn't you? So this is. Yeah, it's boring doing black for silver. Yeah, exactly. So it's fun for Andy. It's fun for us. Everyone's a winner. All the prepping is done. That actually do look quite good in. Uh, well, I can't even really call it a colour. So at this point, we're not we're not sure what colour they're going. We're, we're debating colours now. They all stand out, and they all look fairly decent, and they all they all do the job. So I'm not even sure what colour the wheels are going at this point. So we've narrowed it down to two colours. Now, one of them is like a minty turquoise colour, and the other one's like a very it's called Porsche acid green. So it's like a fluorescent uh, yellow kind of very track inspired colour. We're not sure. I, I, I think either of, them, either of them will look good. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you which one we do choose because I'm not even sure yet. But obviously, these are kind of the two colours. That's what that one looks like. It's like a uh, minty kind of turquoise. And then obviously, that's like a yellow. Like I said, either, both of them are very loud and, and bold colours. But I'm just trying to picture it on the car and I'm, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure which one will look best. It, this is one of the hardest decisions I've had to make. I just do not know what colour will look best. All right, so Andy's busy uh, priming the alloys, cracking on. Doing bits. <laughs> He's priming the alloys. Um, we're, still, we're still not sure. I'm still, I'm still stuck. I re which one do you, uh, which one do you think? Primer Grey is a good colour. James just said that. <laughs> Short and sweet. <laughs> Primer Grey, sorted. I, I seriously can't decide. I, I, do not, I do not know. This is one of them that I don't know. The thing is, I'm thinking of the future of the car when it gets respray and stuff like that. I'm thinking when the cage is in the back, both colours would, would really stand out. But at the minute, I'm leaning a little bit more towards the fluorescent yellow. Just because I think it will look really nice with the blue. I think the blue and the yellow will, will kind of go together. Whereas the turquoise, like James did say, it might clash a little, little bit. Because it's like dark blue with a turquoise blue and... This is hard, mate. This is really hard. And it's not even my bloody car. Never mind, never mind. He just showed us all a different colour. That's it, they're going that, they're yeah. going that, that's better. Oh my God, that's a sick colour, man. Oh, that's mega. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a really good colour. It's gonna be hard to match with vinyl, but send it. <laughs> I wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> Trust the old transit. That's it, the door is shut and we're not allowed to lock until they're done. Oh, I hope they look good, I hope they look good. All right, so for the first time, I actually don't want to see the alloys whatsoever till they're on the car. So we're gonna just go walk into the village, uh, get some food and um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to see them off the car or on the car, but I just don't want to see them till they're fully sprayed. I don't want to see the process this time. Very but insane. massive, massive thank you to AC Alloys for sorting this out. Please go show some love. Um, it wouldn't be possible without him, obviously, and he, he sorted us out so many times now. Uh, big shout out to Andy and uh, AC Alloys. Look who's turned up. Have a look <laughs> in there. Right. Tell me what you think. Move away, James, move away. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> they look really good. Right, so once again, it is really dark now, so what we're going to do... 
good. Yeah, the low lighting's really low good. Light's really good, yeah. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump on board with Andy, get some shots, get some cinematic shots of the alloys, and then what I'll do, I'll finish this video up tomorrow and, and show you what they look like on the car, but off the car, they look absolutely unreal. I think they are going to clash a little, a little bit, but once the respray comes in, or slash wrap, um, it'll fit in really nicely, especially with the cage, etc. But anyway, here's the alloys. James, what do you reckon? Nothing. Wow. <laughs> I think I made the right oh, How sick oh, do they look? Do you like them? That's the Mate, they are, they are unreal, they are. I like the detail on them. <laughs> they are so nice. So yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and put the alloys uh, back on the car and then I'll pick the video up in the morning and uh, show you what they look like, but I'm, I'm nervous to see what they look like on the car, to be fair, but you guys will see that in the morning. Come here. Absolute legend. <laughs> Andy, honestly, thank you very much, mate. Thank you so much. That's all you need to know. Massive, massive, massive thank you. To, uh, to Andy, like I've said. Amazing work. It's just unreal that he's, he's along board with all this, uh, all this car shit and stress that we give him. <laughs> but they look unreal. Uh, I think we're gonna go and uh, try and find the car park to quickly um, try and get some clips uh, in some bit of a light. But if it don't work out, I'll pick the video up tomorrow. Right, we're just gonna take it to the petrol station because this lighting's not very good at all and, uh, and see what it looks like there. To be fair, it'll probably look better in the, uh, in the petrol station with the white lights like the LEDs and it will tomorrow in the sun. Um, but we'll see. If I can't get good enough footage tonight, I will just pick the video up tomorrow like I said three times, so I might as well shut up. It does look pretty sick, like. It does look sick. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Andy, you have done an actual amazing job of these, man. Like, I know, I know it clashes a little bit with this blue. I mean, it does just look track. It does clash a little bit, but once we've uh, either wrapped or, uh, or painted the car, it's gonna look even better, man. I will jump out tomorrow and get some clips of what it looks like, but Oh man, look at it. <laughs> right, let's see what they look like in the light. <laughs> yeah, they do look amazing. The alloys themselves look amazing, don't get me wrong. Like I said last night, they do clash a little bit with the paint, but um, to be fair, next week, I want to get out and start sanding the car down, ready for either wrapping or, uh, or spraying now. Obviously, it's a track car, so we're not too bothered about how it looks as long as the... I'm thinking white. I'm thinking we should spray it white, but either way, this video is about the alloys, which look absolutely unreal. Like, unreal. Andy has is, is absolutely killed it. I'm sorry, but... Oh, man, look at these. The colour and the finish is, is just unreal. <laughs> Right, that's gonna do it, that is gonna do it. I just want to say one more time in this video, a big, big thank you to uh, to Andy and Sandy at AC Alloys for uh, for helping out with all the cars that I've, I've, I've brought to them. They've, they've really have helped out big time. Like I said before in the video, I don't know what we'll be doing or where we'll be going if it wasn't for them. Um, we'd be very, very stuck. So um, from there, thank you very much. If you guys did enjoy the video and you do like the alloys please remember to like comment and subscribe i'll see you on the next one peace